time I'm going to be doing a comparison video between two of the same brand. I think this is the first time that I haven't pitted EOS against Revo. This time it's EOS versus EOS. So let's get started. Uh, this one is Sweet Mint and this one is um, Vanilla Mint, which is why I thought maybe I should do a comparison video of these because I know that when I, was, I first started collecting them, I had falsely assumed that these would be essentially the same thing, but they're not at all. I mean, for one, one is very much superior over the other in just about every way, shape, and form possible, but yeah, so there's many, 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 many differences between these two. First and most noticeably, and obviously, would be the packaging. Um, not just aesthetically, but even texture-wise. This is the texture and appearance of a normal EOS lip balm. It's the slightly velvety, almost kind of rubberized sort of container, but it's kind of soft to the touch, whereas the visibly soft um, um, vanilla mint took me a minute, is kind of like a hard plastic. It almost feels like a Revo when you tap it with your nail, like this one. Okay, they actually make different sounds. Well, kinda. Well, I don't know if that picked up at all, but anyway, this one's a much harder plastic than this one is. Also, the stripes on this one, which obviously the Normans don't have. There's only two in the entire line that have these stripes. They're kind of ridged. If you look real closely, you can kind of see the outlines of those ridges sticking up a bit. So that's different in and of itself. Second, noticeably, without even having to open them, is that this one, the scent is so strong on, you can pick up the scent through the plastic. This one? Nope. So then we open them. We've got our sweet mint over here, and we've got our vanilla mint over here. Everything appears to be basically the same, right? No. No, 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 no. Um, even though they both seem to have the same level of shininess, when you put them on, this one will make your lips shiny, this one will barely even make it look like you're wearing anything. When you put this one on, it's a much thicker, smoother application than this has. This one is really, really thin, in my opinion, which is kind of ironic given that their whole thing is that it's supposed to be more moisturizing than the normal, regular, run-of-the-mill EOS line, but Actually, I found, if anything, the visibly smooth one over here kind of dries my lips out. And I find that my lips are chapped after using it. This one, not at all. This is one of the most moisturizing ones in the entire line out of all the flavors I've noticed. They're, they're not all created equal, that's for sure. But um, this one has a nice thick coat to it, and it goes on shiny, while not like glossy or anything, it is shiny, but this one's just sort of matte and kind of makes your lips feel sticky, and I don't know, I guess if you would prefer a thinner coat, this would be better for you, but I prefer a thicker one, so I like this better. Then we come to the scent. This one smells very, very obviously minty. Like, I finally decided what it exactly smells like. It smells identical to a Bigelow's Mint Medley tea bag. That is what this scent is. I knew it smelled familiar. It finally dawned on me earlier today. This? You don't even really pick up on the scent of mint hardly with it. Like, it kind of smells like a piece of candy, in my opinion. You get a lot of vanilla from this one. There's a ton of vanilla scent, but only a slight touch of mint at all. This one, 
leaves your lips feeling all tingly and cool and refreshed. You don't get any of that with this one. I know one person claimed they get it a tiny bit, but no, I think it's psychosomatic because I've used this one a bunch and no, not once have I ever picked up on that from this one, whereas without fail it happens with this one. So basically, in my opinion, this one, even though it's just from the standard line instead of the specialized one, this one is far superior. I would stick with the Sweet Mint if it were up to me. I can't speak for anybody else. Maybe some of you out there prefer the Vanilla Mint, but I can only speak for me, and I prefer the Sweet Mint vastly over the Vanilla Mint. So anyway, that is my comparison video on these two. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do, and I'll be back soon with another video.